What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart for another Copart walk around. We're going to jump into this one today with number one on my list, a very rare manual transmission Chevy Blazer. So here we have a 2002 Chevy Blazer, and this is one you don't see very often. It's a manual transmission with a 4.3 liter V6. It's also two wheel drive. So as far as Blazers are concerned, this is pretty rare. It's an LS trim. Looks like it's got pretty decent tires. It's red. It looks pretty good, guys. It does have high miles, though. It's sitting at like 237, 240,000 miles. So the miles are a little bit concerning. Tires look pretty dang good. The paint is faded. It's older, and it's definitely a respray. You can see some overspray right here on the headlights and the chrome trim. So, yeah, it was probably at some point, I'm going to guess, a, a younger person's car. Uh, they threw some... A six by nine here and a five and a half over there. 230,000 miles, but let's see how she looks on the interior. Just because it's got high miles doesn't mean anything. Well, okay, electrical tape. Uh, this bezel is destroyed. Dashboard, however, still looks good, but this whole bezel going around the instrument cluster and the stereo looks really, really bad. Let's see if we can look back here. Okay, one of the seats is gone, so that's different. Um, I'm guessing somebody had a system in here. The windows are missing their pieces to hold them down, so somebody just kind of, oh, they screwed them with a screw. Oh, man. It was starting, it was looking really good from the pictures. I was like, oh, man, this is decent. This is really decent. Well... Although it is pretty rare to find a two-door Blazer, uh, two-door, two-wheel drive, this was kind of, this was the sporty Blazer, you know, especially, oh, it's not a manual transmission. Oh, I got duped. I got duped. I did, I got duped. I didn't look at the pictures close enough. I saw the picture with that boot, which is obviously aftermarket, and I thought, uh, I must have seen it from the passenger side, but I saw this shift boot right here from the other side, and I thought, oh man, it's got a manual trans in it. Nope, it doesn't. It's an automatic. Well, that just killed it for me. I don't know, it, maybe it runs good. It sure, oh, it doesn't need a key, apparently. The key comes out of it. This thing is rough. Yeah, I'm glad I came and looked at this in person, because had I not have, I probably... I probably would have bit on it. I probably would have been on it. And I probably would have been upset when I found out it was an automatic. Because the only reason I was interested in it to begin with was because I thought, mistakenly, that this was a manual transmission V6. And I was like, dude, I need this in my life. Let's go ahead and fire it up. We're already here. Let's see if it runs. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have very high hopes for this one because... I noticed on the windshield, it said D, but somebody scribbled all of that out, and now it's listed as N, which should mean that it doesn't run or drive. So I'm just as confused as you are at this point. I have no idea what it's going to do. Oh, that didn't sound healthy. Okay. But there we go. Come on. Oh, she, she, she don't sound good at all, does she? There we go. Come back to life, girl. Come back to, to, to life. There we go. There we go. Oh, the steering wheel is covered in electrical tape. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, the window's upside down. If you pull, if you go up, the window goes down. If you go down, the window goes up. That's that's different. That is different. The door panel is falling off. ABS light is on. It will run if you keep your foot on the gas. AC, I don't know. Uh, all of this is just, what is going on here? Yeah, everything up here is, is broken. 
and it's gonna die. Maybe not, maybe it'll stay running, maybe. Oh my. Are you kidding me? As soon as I got out, you decided to die, huh? Okay, well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to uh, come to the conclusion that this one is not for us, uh, especially when you start looking a little closer at things like, take a look at the fan wiring right here. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, somebody just took the connector out and shoved the wires in there. Um, so <laughs> it's one of those things, I don't like getting into somebody else's wiring mess. I don't mind so much if it's a car that's got an, an existing wiring problem or electrical issue, you know, like from the factory, you know, something that's pretty easy to look up and diagnose and figure out how to fix. Uh, but something that somebody else has gone into and screwed around with, that's just not for me, guys. So unfortunately, I thought that this was going to be a contender and it's not at all. I don't know. What do you guys think? It could look decent with a lot of work and a lot of money at the end of the day i just don't think it's worth it moving on next on my list we looked at this i think last week but i'm gonna look at it again an 07 escalade i think monkey wrench mike backed out of it and i've seen the price that they're asking for it it's a it's a little high guys sixty nine hundred dollars i mean it does have nice wheels and the paint looks good and it's relatively low miles with 138,000. the tire tread looks decent all the way around it's a very good looking vehicle there are some issues with it why am i thinking about buying it i honestly don't know there's just something about an escalade a 62 chevy gm whatever that i just really like I really like it. And, and Michael from Santa's workshop, I'm going to show you guys something. He has something for this that it needs right here. This ripped front seat in this color. Well, Michael from Santa's workshop said he's got this seat and the passenger front seat as well. He said he got them out at a pullet yard or something when he was looking to uh, put seats in one of his project cars and he's not going to use them. So if you got this thing cleaned up and put a new set of seats in the front and cleared these headlights up and fixed the blower motor and fixed the rear hatch because the rear hatch does not open. If you did all of that, she, she'd probably be a very decent vehicle, but with a $6,900 buy it now price, I don't feel like it's a great deal, especially considering this thing is a rebuilt title. It had previous front end collision damage, which I found on autoauctions.io. I looked it up, ran the VIN, and I found that the front end, it wasn't horrible, but it did have a, it did have a bit of front end damage, and you can see the repairs didn't, uh, you know, it's not the greatest. It looks decent. It makes for a good daily driver, but uh, definitely not a show quality, show stopper type repair. You see what I'm, yeah, it's, it's a good daily. Let's throw a jump on it real quick. It's got an interstate battery too. Let's see what she sounds like. All right, now I already know that this runs and several of you probably already saw the video. It was actually one of my best performing Copart walk around videos as of late. I want to go through it again because I am interested in it. Assuming Monkey Wrench Mike does not want it, service airbag i'm assuming they did not replace the airbag control module from the previous accident uh you got a little little bluetooth microphone thingy right here so it may have bluetooth i also remember oh yeah the ac doesn't work i mean it, it works but the blower doesn't work uh could be the blower motor resistor could be the blower motor either way it's not a hard fix nothing complicated about it and the only light on the dash is the airbag light the steering feels great. The brakes feel great. Right into reverse. Reverse camera as well. Could you try again? Right into drive. It runs great. Still not sure about that. Dark tinted windows, probably illegal. Um, I can't see anything through those. When you come back here to open, will you shut up Siri? You come back here to open this, doesn't open it makes a lot of noise you can hear motors and things in there working you can feel things clunking 
but nothing happens. Got a seven pin connector. You got the tow hitch. You got the spare tire under it still. The nice LED taillights. Those look really, really nice. Those are very fancy looking. She needs a little bit of work. I just, I'm not sure what a good deal on this would be. If I used the Byte now for 6,900, how much would it cost me to fix the blower motor or the AC, uh, uh, the heater resistor, the resistor block? Um, whatever's wrong with that back hatch, the front seats, I'm sure I could get for a great deal from Santa's workshop. The headlight is cracked here. Technically, this should really be replaced to make it look a lot better. Uh, it, it needs some work, and honestly, I don't need a truck, but trucks always do really well. It sounds very nice. It needs a heck of a detail. It's a little on the dirty side, but I mean, she's got the nice leather third row seats, captain's chairs for the second row. Give her a good detail, man, and she would look sharp. Listen to this exhaust. Purrs like a kitten, nice tires all the way around. I think it's a solid vehicle overall. I really do. I think she's a solid truck. $6,900 though. It is relatively low miles, but also I keep, I keep going back to, it's a rebuilt title. It's a rebuilt title. Is it worth 69 plus fees? So you're talking about seven plus probably another 800 to a thousand in fees as well. <sighs> I don't know. There might be a better deal out there or given that the market is so crazy right now, who knows, this could be the deal. And I might just walk right past it and forget it even exists. Last one on the list, guys. 2007 Honda Element. This must be the carbon fiber edition. This must be a very rare model because I see carbon fiber everywhere. And the VTEC. The VTEC, that carbon, oop, the carbon is cracking a little bit, probably just from age. I'm sure that's normal for carbon fiber, right? And the blue stripes underneath and the rust all under here and the, the peeling right here. Yeah, that's real carbon fiber, guys. That's how you know it's real. It's legit. And one of the things I noticed first off, aside from the hideous carbon fiber wrap job, is there are some minor gap issues. You know, you can almost fit your hand in here and over here as well. And you can definitely put your hand in the headlight I don't think it's supposed to be that way. Same thing over here. You could fit most of your hand in there. And this is also custom because the fender actually wraps underneath the hood. That's probably for some added aerodynamics. That would be my guess. And over here and here and dense hail and sideswiped. It's been sideswiped and it's got hail damage. Missing carbon fiber everywhere else, but I give credit where credit is due. If you know what that is, you're cool with me. If you don't, well, you're still cool with me. I still appreciate you watching the videos. I break for brown coats, okay. Uh, tires, it has four of them, you know, with purple valve stems. Uh, no hubcaps, but you got purple valve stem caps that makes the entire car come together. It does. It just ties the whole thing together for me. <sighs> Good Lord. That mileage can't be right. What is this? I don't know how this works. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. We could throw all that. Uh, oh, that just sits back there. Okay. She's, she, <sighs> she's pretty nasty. I got stuff in my mouth now. Great. The mileage shows to be 353,000 miles. Uh, I know Hondas are great cars. I'm just having a little bit of a hard time believing. Oh wow, she doesn't need a jump either? No way. No way. Whew. She ain't running good though, is she? Okay, does the important window work? It does. Let's go ahead and crack that a minute because it's 300,000 degrees in there. Yeah, she's got a solid misfire. She ain't sounding very happy. It's got relatively new struts, both of them. Brake fluid looks really clean. She does have a nasty little miss though. 
she's rough guys but i'm telling you in today's market if you can find anything anything that runs and drives and get you up and down the road for a decent price now's the time man now's the time jump on it because uh it doesn't look like cars are getting any cheaper anytime soon that smells like whoo that smells like straight up gasoline wow Ugh. that's that's rich that's rich i'm sure the ac don't work or none of that if it does it'd be a damn miracle steering works we got a flashing check engine light we have a vsa light a yellow triangle yellow tpms yellow wrench out of fuel there's a lot going wrong with this car i think well the gopro overheated it's that time of the year again where the gopro can't handle the heat i have to come out in it and i have to endure it but my gopro apparently doesn't so here is the element i had to get out of it and jump into a jeep compass so that i could turn the air conditioning on and cool the camera off so that we could continue recording anyhow my final thoughts on this vehicle are she needs a lot of work uh it needs a hell of a detail it needs a lot of cosmetic work inside and out it needs mechanical work ac does not work it's got 350,000 miles on the odometer what's it worth honestly i can't answer that to me it's not worth much of anything because i don't really see where there's any value in this vehicle other than something that somebody can go from a to b and assuming they can get the misfire fix otherwise you're just going to blow up the engine carbon fiber I say deduct about $1,000 for that mess. The hail damage, probably deduct another $1,500 for as bad as that hail damage is. Being sideswiped, another $500 deduction. And when you're done, that's probably worth negative $1,500. I don't know. Guys, if you think that there's value in this Honda, definitely drop a comment below and tell me how much you think this Honda would be worth in your market. I know markets vary drastically. For me in my market, I don't see there being much value in this at all. But I hear all the time, if this was in Texas, if this was in Ohio, if this was in California, it'd be $3,000. Well, tell me right now in your market, what would something like this sell for on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist? And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get out of here. It's the end of the video. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I truly appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would truly appreciate it if you take one second out of your day and just click that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me, and I would truly appreciate having you as a new subscriber. Hit the thumbs up button also if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of them. Until next time, stay safe out there, buddy. I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon in the next one.